Acquitted by the Senate last Wednesday, the monster in the White House feels emboldened to act on his every impulse now that congressional Republicans have shown him they will not hold him accountable. These fucking Christian white male Republicans, they have said to Trump, anything you want, baby, anything you want, you slob son of a bitch, just don't forget us. No, he won't forget you for a while, you cowardly lumps of, of, of wasted humanity, every fucking one of you, every Republican in the House and the Senate. I expect the Republicans in the House to be dumb little shit heels, but Republicans in the Senate, who knew? But they have now shown themselves, every one of them, with the exception of the benighted Mitch or Mitt Romney. But the other 52, men and women, useless, wasted, cowardly enablers who have said to Trump, do any fucking thing you want, anything, we got your ass. Unbelievable. So no matter the risk to this country, the Republicans in the Senate, and to a lesser degree, the Republicans in the House, have made it very clear. Hey, hey, yo, anything you want to do, big boy, anything. Because we know that you are serving because God got real fucking pissed off at all the coloreds in this country, and God knew that you would whip the motherfuckers into shape. Show all those Negroes and show all those Muslims and show all those immigrants that God has had enough of your shit, right? Right? This is pretty much what these Christian demons have been saying. They have the Antichrist right in front of them. And like the Israelites lost in the fucking Sinai for 40 years, they have chosen, these Republicans, to worship the golden calf. And, well, the golden cow, I should say. The big golden cow. Trump. Vindman was perp walked from the White House grounds, escorted. Trump could have let Vindman depart the National Security Council with some dignity. It says here, July was when Vindman was swayed to leave and could have more seamlessly had a transition to a new successor. But Trump, being the prick that he is, forced Vindman and his twin brother out because Trump has a hard enough time dealing with any kind of reality. Can you imagine Trump would be forever fucked in the head if he fired Vindman, but the twin brother was still there. How would Trump know which was which? Oh, oh, got to get rid of both of them, right, Trump? And there's little doubt. I mean, there's no doubt at all that what Trump did wasn't intentional retribution against people who have the nerve to speak the truth in an administration that is saturated with, built upon, overwhelmed with, reveling in lies, lies. But it was also designed to send a clear message to anyone else who still works in uh, government, any government official, who dares, who dares to do something like Vindman did, tell the truth, something like Romney did, honor an oath he took in the eyes of, 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 of this God that all these fuckers seem to think exists. 
Well, Trump will have none of that. He'll go to the National Prayer Breakfast. Why? Because he wants to pray. Give me a fucking break. Trump knows there's no God. Oh, there is one God, him. Jesus. So, the deal now, if you speak out, which is what Vindman learned, not only do you put your own job, your own career, your own future in jeopardy, but your family also, i.e. his twin brother. Your family suffers too. This is what Kim Jong Kim Jong Un does. If you fuck up in North Korea, they get your fourth cousin twice removed and, and along with you and the entire family and put all you fuckers in a re-education camp. That's what you do. You go for the relatives too. And Trump's little effort here to go for the twin brother is just, it's just a, like a little warning bell. Ding, ding. Are you paying attention? Ding, ding. Like Hitler and the Jews, like Mussolini and the Jews. You fuck with me and I will get you and your mama and your auntie and your twin brother and I will dig out every fucking one of your relatives I can find and put all of you in a detention center. How far away is that with this unconscionable son of a bitch? I'll tell you what, if he gets reelected this November, it's not going to be a question of how far away it is. It's going to be a question of when does it begin. Sounds like hyperbolic bullshit coming from me, doesn't it? Like, oh, come on the fuck, Malloy. What are you doing? What are you talking about? I keep thinking about what, um, what's your name? The senator from Maine. Susan yeah, Susan Collins, what she said. Well, I think the president has learned his lesson, and I don't think he'll do it again. That is, that is, I mean, what the fuck is she talking about? One of her nieces or nephews or something who's six years old? Well, he got a nice spanking, so I don't think he'll be stealing cookies anymore. And she thinks Trump learned it. I'll tell you what he learned, Senator Collins. He learned thanks to fuckheads like you, ma'am. He learned he can do any fucking thing he wants. And cheap shit senators like you, are you calling me a cheap shit senator? Yes! Cheap shit senators like you not only will allow it, you encourage it when you deal with a psychopath like you. Well, I didn't mean to encourage anything. I still say he'll be okay now. She, he's learned his lesson. Go ahead. I mean, ever since I saw that picture of the Vindman twins being perp walked out of the White House, I just kept thinking of, of I don't know why, just some kind of twisted Saturday Night Live skit with them pranking Trump kind of like Patty Duke back in the 60s or the parent trap, you know, and their cousins, identical cousins. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, what are they going to yeah, do? Yeah, okay. Are they going to dress up and, 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 you know, pants him or something? I mean, what was he afraid of? Trump's not afraid of anything. He's just a psychopath. And then this piece in CNN... Um, Listen to this. There's a great danger in removing individuals like Vindman from the National Security Council who have long-standing relationships. Trump appears intent on transforming the NSC from a critical American policymaking apparatus that advances the rule of law to a political arm for his personal benefit with little regard for rules or laws. Right. Just like he talks about the head of the Justice Department, that filthy little hypocritical prick bar being his own per Perry Mason. 
And Barr, oh, Willie, sitting at that circle jerk in, in the East Room the day after the impeachment, Barr sitting there laughing his ass off, along with that filthy pig, Mike Pence. They're all laughing at how stupid their followers are, how easily manipulated the Senate is, and how the American people are not going to replace this fucker. We're not. You want an indication? The turnout, not that I think that the Iowa caucuses should mean anything other than how fucking ridiculous the Iowa caucuses are. What the fuck? Why, why do these candidates spend tens of millions of dollars, get there, and the Democratic, state Democratic Party can't even count the fucking votes, and they're all done with little pieces of paper? But the other thing the Iowa caucuses showed was the lack of any interest in the whole fucking process. They expected 200,000 people to come out statewide, and they were lucky to get 150,000. Trump has worn this country down to a nub. People are tired and sick of him, and nobody knows what to do other than just turn away from this fucker. But in turning away, we are sealing our fate with this dictatorial fuckwad at the head of government. I just hope, I just hope that enough people will come out and vote this November and get rid of this monster. And I still, you know, I still cannot get over the people who assisted the Russians and Trump in stealing the fucking presidency. All those people who voted for third party candidate. Oh, well, I'm not going to vote for Hillary. No, I've had enough of the Clintons. Thanks a lot, you fuckers. Hi, Truth Seekers, it's Kathy Malloy. Only you can help save the life of a progressive podcast. Visit MikeMalloy.com and help us keep it lit through the impeachment, the 2020 election, and beyond.